A statue torn down by protesters in the summer of 2020 is once again getting the attention of Madisonians today at a rededication ceremony. Our Tahalea Mahadeen joined members of the community as they honored Wisconsin's highest ranking soldier to die in the Civil War. She joins us now with more. The statue of Colonel Hans Hegg was actually restored and returned outside the state capitol back in September. But today's ceremony was about sharing his story in the presence of his family and the many he inspired. He gave me a good name and I am always, every day, grateful for that. Major James Patrick Hegg is getting to see his family's legacy live on. From a very young age, I heard about uh, Colonel Hans Hegg. I was told that there was a statue here in Wisconsin, and I thought, wow, how, how neat. A rededication ceremony in honor of his fifth great-grandfather, Colonel Hans Hegg. Honored and, and humbled that uh, an ancestor of mine became a symbol for so many others of what it means to uh, find your way in America. Organizer Fred Campbell looking to bring attention to the story of Wisconsin's highest ranking soldier to die fighting in the Civil War. He stood up against a lot of powerful forces against that, you know, and the, that people don't know that. That person is the last person that should have been uh, torn down. Attendees too, hoping his story will send a message. Black lives did indeed matter to Colonel Hegg. As for Major Hegg, who made the 13-hour drive from Virginia to be at the Capitol, today is about encouraging others to follow in the Colonel's example. To try to be of service in some way. He himself, a Marine, inspired to do his part. Over the years, I got to understand more and more of what that military service meant. Keeping in mind the Norwegian immigrant who started it all. I don't think I could hold a candle to what he did uh, so many years ago today. Um, but I'm honored to have done my part. Today's rededication was organized by the Madison Veterans Council. The Colonel Hans statue itself was first gifted for, from Norwegian immigrants to Wisconsin state officials back in 1926.